Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and guys today I have come up with another very amazing problem. Uh, the name of this problem is the burning candle. So here is the statement of this problem. A candle is made of a conducting material of conductivity K and having cross section radius uh, of R0 and length L0. Uh, the temperature of the flame is uh, Tf0 degree centigrade and the other end of the candle is uh, connected to a block of mass M and a specific heat uh, S. Initial temperature of block is T0 and uh, the candle starts burning at a constant rate of uh, alpha meter cube per second. Find the temperature of block as a function of time. So let's discuss the concept part of uh, this problem. So as candles start burning due to temperature difference, heat flow takes place uh, to the block due to which temperature of the block changes. So since conductivity of uh, this uh, candle is given, so you can understand that uh, flame temperature is uh, higher and uh, block temperature was lesser so heat flow will take place from uh, flame to block and we can say in steady state the the rate of heat flow through the candle uh, i can write it as a k a dt by dx and that is going to be the the rate at which heat is absorbed by this uh, block which is going to change its temperature by dt so that is ms dt by dt so that this is for block and uh, k a delta t by delta x is for candle and this uh, dq by dt is the heat current or rate of heat flow so let's discuss at any instant of uh, t equal to t when length of this candle is uh, x when length of this candle is x temperature is tf and this uh, conductivity everything is given so rate of heat flow through this conducting uh, part here through the candle I can write k area is pi r square and let's say at that moment temperature of this block is t so I can write delta t as tf minus t divided by the length of the candle and for block uh, the rate at which energy is absorbed by this is uh, can be written as ms dt by dt and uh, also the volume at any given instant I can write this volume as pi r square x naught assuming this is in a cylindrical shape so this dv by dt I can write as uh, pi r naught square dx by dt that is equal to minus alpha this minus sign comes because of kinematic nature that volume is uh, decreasing all right so from here I'm going to get this dx by dt and I can write uh, the length of this candle at any x as l naught minus alpha t by pi r square all right so now in steady state i can say these two values when i equate k pi r naught square tf minus t by x and that is equal to ms dt by dt let's separate the variables and uh, substitute the value of x so i'm going to get uh, k pi r naught square by ms in uh, and uh, this will be dt by l naught minus alpha t by pi r square and other side I am going to get dt by tf minus t. So when temperature of the block goes from t0 to tb, uh, time goes from 0 to general time t. And these are very standard uh, integral in uh, JU physics. You would have seen it at many places, RC circuit, LR circuits and uh, many heat problems also. So here you can uh, uh, see that uh, these are just some mathematical uh, adjustment when you just integrate it is in the form of f dash x divided by f of x dx which is ln of fx I am bringing in that form and when I am solving it I am going to get this equation uh, both terms uh, are going to become ln I am not uh, explaining this mathematical part I think most of you will be okay with this uh, you can do it so when I simplify, I'm going to get this temperature of uh, block as Tf minus Tf minus T naught times L naught divided by L naught minus alpha T by pi R naught square uh, to the power minus K pi square R naught to the power 4 divided by ms alpha. So let's check the boundary conditions uh, uh, about the validity of uh, the answer of this problem. So you can see at t tending to when t is 0 temperature of the block is t naught 
right so let's see here at t equal to 0 this is going to be 1 so this power is going to be 1 and uh, here tf minus tf this is going to get cancelled tb is equal to plus t naught so this is uh, validating our claim and similarly t tending to infinity finally when uh, after infinite time definitely let's assume by that time uh, temperature uh, imagine uh, the length of uh, candle was still there uh, in that situation you can say in that situation you can say that t tending to infinity you can see this part this is going to be uh, approaching towards a zero and you can say tb is going to be tf hypothetically in reality it is not going to happen so these are the boundary conditions i hope this part is clear to you all all right so uh, there could be a question like this also that when uh, uh, candle is burning completely what is going to be the temperature of the block so you can find out when this x is going to be zero uh, when this x is going to be zero you know the time so when you substitute that time value here uh, you will get uh, the answer for temperature of block at that moment so all these boundary conditions you can verify so guys this is going to be the final answer i hope you have enjoyed this problem it's a kind of new problem and uh, different approach though concept is very simple very important for j advance exam uh, so if you have enjoyed this video please like it share it with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it uh, thanks for watching this video